Number three, pray for the person who's being difficult to get along with. Yes, thank you. But don't pray for them to change just to make it easier for you. But pray for them to be all that God wants them to be. So, pray for the person with humility, realizing, but for the grace of God, there go I. Romans 12, 3. For by the grace, I, I love what Paul, how Paul approaches this. He's getting ready to correct the Romans, and he says, by the grace of God, I warn everyone among you not to think more highly of yourself than you ought to. So he didn't just go in there and start telling them off. He said, look, I'm only coming to you and daring to tell you this because God has given me a grace to do this. And so I'm telling you, don't think more highly of yourself than you ought to. Don't have an exaggerated opinion of your own importance. And you know, honestly and truly, sometimes being judgmental of other people, it is a mechanism that we come up with to not have to deal with our own problems. As long as I stay busy thinking about what's wrong with you, I don't have to deal with what might be going on in my own life. So I've kind of found out in my many years of experience of doing a whole bunch of stuff wrong and hopefully learning to do a lot of it right now that I really need to spend less time on other people and more time on me. Amen. Don't have an exaggerated opinion of your own importance, but rate your ability with sober judgment, each according to the degree of faith apportioned by God to him. Pray for people. I'm just going to give you a few ways to pray for people. Pray that God will help them be all he wants them to be, to do what he wants them to do. Pray that God will open their eyes that they actually can see and recognize when they hurt other people. Because they don't see it. They didn't get up that day planning to hurt you. Pray that God will help them get to the root of their problem because behavior modification is not the answer. <laughs> you can be in a relationship with somebody and you can say, if you don't do this and this, I'm leaving. Well, maybe out of fear, they'll straighten up and be able to change something for a period of time, but you've all had the experience, it comes back. <laughs> it pops up again somewhere else because just behavior modification is not what people need. They need a heart change. They need a nature change. And if they've got so many problems in their life that they can't see God themselves, then they need to see us act like God. <laughs> and it is a sacrifice. I am going to talk to you a little bit this weekend about being willing to live a little more sacrificially for the sake of the gospel. Listen, we're not going to be here forever. Jesus is going to come back and maybe pretty soon the way things are looking. I don't know. But when it's over, honey, it's over. There's no do-overs. And I want to really make an effort to take as many people to heaven with me as I possibly can. So if I have to keep forgiving the same person over and over and over and over and over, or I have to keep believing the best, believing the best, believing the best, believing the best. Now we all need to see a little progress, there's no doubt about that. But I, I, I really believe that you can kill the meanness in people with kindness. I mean, I proved that with my own father, and it's too long of a story to get into right now, but many of you have heard me testify about how God put it on my heart to take care of him and my mother till they died. 
And if anybody in the room thinks I wanted to do that or thought it was fair, you have got another thing coming because I did not. But it was the single most powerful thing that I've ever done in my whole life. And my father's in heaven getting to hear the message tonight, so isn't that good news? Pray for discernment. We need more discernment. We are, we are too much off the top of our head. We need to pray for discernment. Discernment goes deeper than just what we see or what we think. You remember Jesus when the woman was caught in adultery and they were trying to trap him because they knew he you know, was this big love guy and now here she's broken the law and the law says you got to stone her. So now, okay, Mr. Love, what are you gonna say about this one? And so he knelt down on the ground and the Bible says he wrote in the dirt with his finger. Now, what, what's that all about? Like, you know, what? And then he slowly gets up and he says, well, I'll tell you what, let whichever one of you has no sin throw the first stone. You know what I believe he was doing? This is my personal opinion, but I believe that he was taking just enough time to hear from his father about the just right way to handle that situation. What would happen in our lives and in our families instead of just <laughs> Well, if you do that again, I'm out of here, and if you get me, I mean, come on, we all know that don't work. I mean, when my kids were teenagers, I, I screamed at them, and my son would roll his eyes at me, and there's nothing that I dislike worse than a teenager whose eyes roll back in their head every time, every time you try to correct them. Or when the room looks like a slop house and you say, clean this up, and they're like, what's wrong with it? <laughs> but it didn't change them. You can scream at your kids till you don't have a voice left. It's just gonna make them hate you. But through more discernment, through more prayer, through more realizing what you were like at that age. Oh, no, you were all perfect when you were 12 and 13, 14. I mean, I did some dumb stuff when I was a kid. Pray for more discernment. Take a little more time with things. Ooh, I'm praying, I'm praying, praying, praying. You can pray for me. I'm praying that I can just think before I open my mouth and say something. <laughs> now, not up here when I'm preaching, because, you know, I believe God's speaking through me. I don't have to think. I just open my mouth and out it comes. But, you know, man, when I'm dealing with people sometimes, I'm like, ooh, why didn't I just shut up for a few minutes? <laughs> <laughs> 